Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I'm going to take a look at an engineering subject and how it relates to Stormworks. For those of you that don't know, I've been an engineer for 10 years now and I see a lot of parallels with engineering and Stormworks. Now of course there's mathematics and reports and calculations and all kinds of stuff in engineering, but it's not all about that. A lot of it comes down to similarities and the one we're going to talk about in this video is innovation. First we must ask ourselves, what is innovation? Innovation has two definitions in the Cambridge Dictionary, a new idea or method, and the creating and use of new ideas or methods. So it means similar things. And an example would be to develop, for example, new computer technology, a new process in oil, to develop something to do with business. So those are all innovations. Now in the engineering aspect, Innovation can be defined as a process of idea generation, evaluation, implementation, and finally commercialization. How does that relate to Stormworks? Well, there's a subject that I want to talk about for a while now, and it has to do with scope of work. Now, I don't want to change the subject entirely because innovation is the theme, but scope of work is very similar to it in a sense that you can only do so much. Your scope of work, for example, this boat, it's to make this ship or boat. And then I had another scope of work to add the VTOL. Then I added the rib. So there are several large scopes of work on this project. And then there's small ones. One scope of work is add all the railings. Another one would be to add the electronics, all the wiring, all of the nodes, all of the microcontrollers, all that stuff. Now, the reason I'm bringing the scope of work up is because one can only do so much in this game and there's certain elements that I've more or less acknowledged that I don't even want to get into developing. One of them are the um, nuclear power plants. You can see here Pro, Pro Killer has designed this power plant, made the microcontrollers for it, plugged it into my existing ship and that's why I've shared the credit for this creation of ProKiller. So the entire power plant is made by ProKiller in this version of the ship. Now, why on earth did I do that? It's because I've accepted and acknowledged the fact that I just cannot create everything to a degree of which I want to. It's just too much. This game literally offers so many different options and choices, be it steam engines, be it locomotives, be it the nuclear, you know, there's so much. And then that doesn't even begin to discuss perfecting those systems. So it, for lack of a better term, I've more or less accepted and acknowledged that I cannot develop everything. There's things I am good at, and that's what I tend to do. I stick with it and I enjoy it very much. So the things that I'm good at, I make, and of course I perfect my own systems I work on them, I innovate them, developing them further. So how this ties back into innovation and this, this comes down to new ideas. So for example, the phishing update came out and other than the people that had pre-access to it, I'm not sure exactly who they are in terms of Stormworks. I did not have pre-access to the phishing update. Well, they had time to develop some phishing technology before the rest of us were able to. So when the fishing update came out, I jumped on the update and developed this boat. Well, I had the boat um, hull developed and microcontrollers, but all the fishing aspects, I had no idea how they'd function. So I did the best I could. I developed a system that I thought was logical at the time. I've showed it a few times now. It looks kind of like a crab cage. It uses a bunch of sliders and microcontrollers and connectors and things and sort of opens up. Now, I was able to catch a fish with this system. Where innovation comes in is catching more fish. So you can actually develop technologies and micro-analyze them to the point where you create something that works and then you perfect it into something that is incredible. That can be related, for example, to my ROVs where I had an ROV that was existing that worked to an extent it obviously had stability issues and stuff, and then I took it upon myself to revamp this entire system and make something that is much better, much faster, much more stable, 
way more technology and all kinds of different things going on. And I innovated. I sat down and I had an idea. I took a sheet of paper and I literally wrote, what is the old ROV and how can I make it better? What systems could I add? That's where this camera on the top comes in, for example. That's where the automatic stabilization system comes in, for example. The remote system, the ability to have it either tethered or remote. I wanted it to be very versatile. You could swap in between boats, swap in between ships, all that good stuff. So I then evaluated my ideas. I then examined this list and said, all right, what can I physically do? Now, the ROV is a great example because it's physically limited for space. Now, this one here is larger, but this one here could not have much more than this microcontroller that was placed in here. And even this, I had to reduce some of the options and things in order to get it to work. There's actually a supplementary microcontroller that communicates with the main microcontroller, whereas in this one I was able to fit everything into the main one. So I took it and developed these ideas. I evaluated them and sort of came into implementing them. It, that was the next logical step. You walk into that, you put it on a test platform, you put it on a rig of some sort, and you then see if it works. So this has a lot of trial and error because of course you don't always get it working the way you should the first time around. But eventually with enough work, you can get it programmed and working. So implementation comes down to tons of tests, running trials and throwing things together to see how best you can make it suit your current system. And then the very last step, as I mentioned before, is the commercialization now of course in this game you know it's not money to be had but rather it is the ability to upload it into a creation and have others use it and enjoy it so that is the commercialization aspect of it as you can see here in the case of my rov it's happily now underwater and this is where you can operate it you can turn up and down the throttle all that good stuff well, what happens if you can't do it all? What happens if you're limited either in your knowledge of how to make these systems work or you don't have time or you just find enjoyment in other types of creations? So what if you can't figure out how a nuclear engine works or a coal engine or a ROV microcontroller or a train or whatever? There's tons of different things that you may or may not know myself included i'm not claiming to know everything especially in this game and in real life so with that in mind what happens well in real life in the engineering world that is when you bounce your ideas off of others so what you'll actually do is usually you'll have a bunch of colleagues and people that can work with you to develop these ideas of course one person may have one idea another person may have another idea I have friends asking me questions all the time. How do I do this? And they give me some sort of scenario. And then I give them a suggestion. And the funny thing is they never even considered that suggestion. And not because they're not smart, but because it just takes having a second view, a second opinion, a second look at the thing to be like, all right, what about trying this? And that is the basis of engineering. Funny enough, it's kind of taking ideas and developing them and making sure that, you know, you end up with something that works and you keep at it. You'll get more better, at, you'll get proficient at it, you'll get better, you'll be faster, all that good stuff, and you'll end up with something that you could actually kind of do. Now, that's where working together is always a good thing. Now, I do understand, well, first of all, in real life, ideas have trademarks, they have copyrights, they have all sorts of patents and things that prevent you from stealing others' ideas, and that is absolutely okay. The reason why is because you can't just simply um, take other people's ideas. We all know that. We hate that in Stormworks. People that steal other people's creations, that's no good. You know, that's not something you can legally do in real life. And that's not something you should be doing anyways. 
So what you can do, well, you can work with people, you can give them credit on their creation if that is what they desire, and you could end up with something that works for you. So that's what I tend to do. When I can't do something, and of course I know my own limitations, I lo I'd love to do everything, but sometimes that's just not physically possible for one person. Well, then I collaborate. I collaborate it with others. I collaborate with, you know, the community. I get ideas. Now, the nice thing about my own personal situation, of course, is that I have enough fans and a database of people that watch my videos and that want to provide information, help me, give me all kinds of feedback and advice. So I'd say it is a great community for that and it's a great opportunity to learn. I developed the oil pipeline add-on with Sheppy and Yuli because they were able to give me something that I didn't know. Now, of course, I did end up learning some basic coding and started creating my own screens and displays and things, but at the time of this, there were barely any screens. There was only cameras and some very basic systems, all of which I actually credited and took from the workshop. This even continues on. On my Discord server, I have people giving me tons of suggestions, really nice things. Look at this crane, and look at this funnel, and this cooler here. So ideas were given to me to sort of improve my creations or make them different, sometimes um, very constructive type of thinking. And this process of bouncing ideas back and forth, having something, then developing a better version, then developing an even better version, especially whether you're doing it, well, even if you're doing it by yourself in the, in the terms of my ROV, or if I'm doing it like this in terms of a user, in this case, Fox, here gave a great detail and explanation of what was done to improve my vessel, including adding a bigger hopper, including adding some other details, cameras, all kinds of stuff. I love that. And Fox actually ended up posting the XML file for their creation. And now I have it and I could learn and develop my own creations using Fox's as a basis. Now, I don't know the extent of user Fox's creations. I don't know if they make better ships than me, bigger ships, space things. I have no idea in this case, maybe to my own demise. But what I know is that these elements were fixed in mine. So not only a bug, but also a better winch setup, etc., etc. So that idea of bouncing ideas back and forth, whether in your own head or whether with other people, building things, collaborating, all that stuff, that is engineering and that's how you can do it in Stormworks. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of collection of thoughts that pull together what I know in real life through my career and put it into terms of this video game, which I honestly think is so advanced and so awesome. And I love seeing messages of people who want to become engineers and people who already are some sort of scientists or professionals and how they want to kind of just build on their knowledge and that's the best way to do it because not everyone's born well not anyone is born knowing everything everything is learned whether you have a super genius mind or average mind or below average mind you yourself can through time and effort and experience do anything you want so i love to give support to those that want to try to learn and develop their ideas and i would say following the process of innovation learning from others, bouncing ideas off, giving credit where credit is due to others, and eventually ending up with something that works really nicely. That is what Stormworks is all about, and that is why I make the videos I make. So thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, more content, and as always, happy Stormworksing, everyone.